welcome back everyone. Welcome aboard to anyone who's new. Today we are going to do a trial run of all interstate riding uh, to get some practice in before the 530 bikers meet up. Probably your butt. Well, the real test about how comfortable your bones are will be if your lower back hurts. That's true. They feel comfortable now. But yeah, this will be the first time you've ever done any big miles on this motorcycle, so. Yeah, so. Even though they're not that many, I mean, this is going to be a big day. <laughs> this will be big. a big day for me for sure. Like Jared said, it's this is I'm on my sport glide. You guys can see this. It's the first trip of any kind on this bike. We got the bars and I have my 7 inch Memphis Shades fairing on. Um, so that's going to be another test is to see if my neck and head gets really sore. Anything else you want to add? Nope. Just a beautiful day. Let's crush some miles. Alright. We're going to crush some miles. Let's do it. So much 
much that my cheeks hurt because they can't smile normal because the uh, cheek pads are squishing them. Fuck, it hurts. So we're about an hour into the, the trip so far. It goes by kind of fast, actually. And uh, as you can see, in Kentucky, we got lots of lots of mountains and trees. We've Night, turned big. this far east on uh, this highway, so this is pretty fun. This is fun. I'm really excited about this trip. That's Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home. Kentucky Road. Road. Right now. Oh, I don't think that good. It'll pick it up, I bet. I bet not. about having found the podcast is that like if Jared and I had just gone riding in Nebraska you don't have anybody that we didn't really have any riding friends so you just go ride by yourself but now you can just like put something in the discord and then meet up with people left right off of that bridge but I like this left turn better <laughs> well that's all right this escape is kind of making us have to drive real slow Mothman statue. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I 
Come back by there, snap photos with it. <laughs> This ginormous brick wall or concrete wall you see kind of following the river yeah. is a flood wall. And if the water gets too high, there are gates in it they can shut. <laughs> that basically lets the water flow up against the wall instead of coming on into town. Yeah. Do what you got to do. Yep. They have them around here. They have them around Huntington. That's the only two places I know of with flood walls. I guess we weren't the only ones with the idea of riding out to the park today. Yes, not. We're going to pull over here. <laughs> I think we can all fit, maybe. I'm not good at this slow speed stuff. <laughs> 